In the time of this pandemic, there's so much that we have to be happy for, and there's so much celebration that is happening around us, and this is what inspired this collection. I'm just going to give you a quick run through of what each piece means to me and what I was thinking as I was going through the process. The first one is Bashatigazi, and that's pretty much who we're here to celebrate the couple that is in love and getting married, and I use the colors orange to celebrate love and to celebrate the happiness that comes with a marriage and a wedding. And then we move on to the groomsmen. These are the people that um, carried the husband through or the, the groomsmen through um, and made sure that this day happened. Moving on to the invited guests. These are the people that are here to celebrate with the couple and to just make sure that this day goes on without any glitches. Then we move on to the auntie. Now the auntie is here in the beginning of the exhibition because these are the women that paved the way. These are the women that are going to teach the wife how to go through a marriage and how to make a marriage successful. And they're there to help. And that's why I thought it was such a, an important piece to be at the beginning. Moving on to Timbuti. Now, goats and cows and all of that, like I said before, have such a significant part to play in, um, in weddings and celebrations in Africa. So the, there are four Timbuti, and hopefully one of you is going to buy them all together. I hope they find a home together. And the reason why I put them here is because they have such a a significant part to play because in Swazi traditional weddings, we slaughter goats in order for the it, it is ceremonial to slaughter goats. So obviously um, we also eat them during the ceremony. So uh, I thought that was going to be a good, a good part of the exhibition because they are they are a good part of what happens in a wedding. Moving on to the late Gogo. Now, my own grandma passed away, and it, it would have been such a beautiful thing for the, her to be part of my, my future wedding. And I just really have a strong connection to this one because I, I really wish that she would be part of my own, but she, she won't be able to. So like the, the reason why I use Mandela art on this one it's because I wanted to represent the magical part of it that, that people that pass away, I believe, are still there with us. So I, I created this one, especially to honor her in future when my own wedding comes. And then Tinzaba, people will talk and will make sure that uh, the whole ceremony is happy and they're discussing what's happening and they know the journey of the couple. So that's why I drew this, this piece. I painted this one. And uh, the audience, the people that are here to celebrate with you, and the people that are neighbors and people that are just walking past and want to look on what's happening. And there's a reason why we're so drawn to these things, because it's such a happy time. And we all just want to experience that love and that celebration with the couple. <sighs> Moving on to Mafatlawane. I love this piece. It's such a colorful piece, and it's 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 bigger because I I think the journey that a woman walks from girlhood to womanhood and then becomes uh, a wife starts with when she's young and she's wearing mafatlawane and dancing at other people's weddings and one day hoping that uh, one day she'll find someone special. So this is this is what I was going through and thinking when I was painting this piece the best man. Um, this, is, this is significant because this is the most likely the person who's next in line and they're usually not married. So that's why I drew these flowers here because um, they are they're supposed to draw attention to themselves at the wedding. Magetala is such an important part of the wedding because this is the person that raised the, the husband and I, I wanted to make this colorful and beautiful because she made this day possible by making all the sacrifices that she made. And then we move on to the last piece. 
I, this is my personal favorite. I shouldn't have favorites, but this is, this is the one. This piece is the next generation, the little girl who's looking on and she's the flower girl throwing the flowers on the floor, but she's, it's, it's going to make a significant impact on her that one day she's going to also meet someone special and experience this beautiful thing. So that's pretty much the whole exhibition. And I hope you come through and you buy something from Alliance Francaise and one of these pieces actually speak to you. Thank you so much for being part of this exhibition. My name is Lindelo Lamini and I'm a contemporary artist.